I have a character loaded into my scene right here. And what I want to do is make some changes to him and then save those changes as a new character and then be able to load that character later on into any scene that I make. We're going to do this by making presets. So I have Captain Commando loaded in right now. I really like this character, but I want to make him a little bit more specialized and unique. So let's go into our Shapings tab and let's dial up Minotaur. You can do whatever you want with this. These are just some of the morphs that I have. I'm going to dial up Minotaur, maybe dial up Michael even. And then let's go over into Materials. I'm going to apply the Minotaur base material to him. And basically you can go through and make any changes that you want. And then what we're going to do, let's go into Content Library. And here under My Library, let's right click and create a subfolder. I'm just going to call this Presets. And then in this folder, I'm going to hit this plus right here. And I'm going to save this as a character preset. I'm just going to name this Bowl Man. Hit save. And then you can specify you want the shape and the materials to be saved. Let's accept. This is going to save all morphs that you've done to them and all materials applied to them. So you can see it saved him right here and it's taken a screenshot of our current scene and is using that as the icon. Let's go back into Smart Content. Let's get into our Files tab. Let's go into our Saved Files and you can see Bowlman is right here. You can now drag and drop him into different categories. I'm going to put him in People, Male. We'll just put him in Stylized. Let's go back to our Saved Files and let's drag and drop him into Stylized. So now you can see him right here. And if we delete everything out of our scene, he's going to load exactly how we saved him. So there he is right there. So I'm going to go back through and put those clothes back on him. And if you like that outfit, let's go back into our content library. Let's hit plus again. And this time we're going to do wearables preset. Let's just do bowl outfit. And here you specify everything you want saved. So let's accept. And it's got that same icon right there. Let's click the plus again and look at all the different presets we can make. We've made pose presets before. You can just specify just the shaping preset. The properties preset right here is pretty powerful. It'll take everything that you've done to your character, how you pose him, where he is in the scene, everything that you've applied to the character, and it's going to save it as a preset. However, you can't just load a properties preset into a scene. You have to load a character in there and then apply the properties preset to him. So if you're like me and you don't like this default icon, we can actually make our own icon. Let's go ahead and zoom in on him. Let's put an expression on him. Maybe that angry face. And that's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and go to our render settings. And in general, let's go to our dimensions preset and go down to square one by one. And then the width and the height are both going to be 91. Let's go ahead and render that. Since this is pretty small, I'm not going to wait for this full render to go through. I'm just going to cancel it. And I'm going to name this the same thing that I named this. That's important. So we're going to do bowl man and save. Then what we're going to do, right click on bowl man, go to browse to file location. That's going to bring up this window. You can see bowl man and bowl outfit right there. And then go to your render library, find the icon that you just made and drag and drop it right into that same folder. Then once that's in, you can delete this one 
and this is now going to make that the default icon as long as the names match up right here. So let's go back into Studio and right click on Presets and hit Refresh. And you can see our icon is now updated.